let's build a crate. The first cut is very important. Here I'm using a, a carpenter ruler for a, a straight angle. If you don't keep your knife perfectly vertical, you can use a nail file for correct the cut. Now I'm uh, marking 2.5 cm and 3.5 cm and I'm connecting the dots with my carpenter ruler. This crate will be more or less 1.5 cm tall. Again, cut it and correct it with the nail file. Now with the metal brush, I'm creating the wooden grain. First of all, on the top and the bottom of the crate. Then changing direction on the sides. Don't be shy, make a beautiful wooden grain. After that, with my pen, I'm drawing the main lines that separate the wooden plank. First of all, on the top and on the two long sides. Now I'm tracing the line that separates the upper planks from the lateral planks, like that. And now I'm uh, finishing the lateral long planks. Only at the end we complete uh, the piece with the lateral short planks. At this point we take uh, a piece of graphics chipboard and uh, we cut a stripe of 4 mm like that. Now just eyeballing, we mark a line, little bit uh, overhanging the top part of the crate. And now we use the first piece as a guide for create a second one and we cut. With the nail, before gluing, we make the nail holes. little bit of hot glue and uh, we put all together. Remember, these pieces must overhang a little bit the top part of the crate. With the same procedure, now we do the other four pieces for the sides. If you left the cardboard like that, you can have metal pieces, then you will uh, color with metal gun uh, silver. But if you prefer the wooden reinforcement, you now can trace uh, lines and wooden grain with a nail, like that.
Now the handles. We take a couple of uh, rings and a couple of paper nail and we do something like that. At this point it's very easy to insert it in the foam. We do the same on the both sides. Yeah, and we are ready to paint. First of all, cover the entire piece with the acrylic black paint. Then a semi-wet brush with the lighter brown. And when the piece is dry, I use a dry brush with a warm gray. Beautiful, nice and easy. And that's it. There's a lot of variety of barrels, so basically it's not important your style, you can mix many kinds of uh, different stuff together and you will have uh, great results in the end. On YouTube you have uh, a lot of tutorials about barrels, uh, the energy info, I think also Scotty, everyone. Actually I'm coming here with the foam. Uh, the power of foam is the reason why I'm here. With the foam I'm in front of you now showing how to create a couple of different type of barrels. The little one and this big one for a great quantity of beer or wine, typical in the dungeon cellars. But before start, please consider to support this channel through Patreon, follow the link below. And also you can sustain and donate something through PayPal. We have a direct link so you can sustain this channel and help me doing better and better and uh, that's it, okay? Stay with me. So, barrels resin by the Terdes. This one was in wood. This one is in uh, actually in metal by Game Workshop. But each one is around uh, a couple of centimeters tall. So, I'm cutting here now a cylinder in foam about uh, two centimeters high. I'm sorry guys, I cannot explain you how to do this without the proxy. When you have your cylinder in foam, you can use a bottle in a glass, like this one, for uh, use the smooth edge of the bottle as a guide for cut a 30 degree angle with a arch foam cutter. This is a Legnaro method, you know. Who says that uh, beer is just for drink? Beer is for crafting. For the big one, I'm using now the proxon with a 30 degree angle of the wire. Since it's quite big, I'm cutting two pieces instead of one in two sides. Then I will adjust the dimension for have uh, in that way the two half of the barrel. Nice and easy. For correct a little bit the shape I'm sanding and then I'm adding uh, in both of the barrels a screw 
for add a extra weight and also you will see this will allow to the bar not to fall when you play with it since we have uh, a two half and my screw is uh, too much long I'm pressing the head of the screw in one part so I have the space for uh, hide the screw inside yeah I'm digging the hole and when I was satisfied by the depth of the wall I start to put the screw on the other part not all the way in I've left the head outside so in this way it can fit perfectly Now I'm cutting some uh, piece of uh, light cardboard with my tool I'm uh, bending in a natural way all the metal reinforcement for the bars I'm ready for assembling now then and uh, voila again with the same paper I'm uh, adjusting the shape here with the hot glue I'm attaching a round piece of uh, cardboard for uh, hide the screw before I add the metal reinforcement you need to trace the lines and the wood grain for the barrels as you can see here as always you can check my tutorial number 4 for uh, my wood grain technique Now it's time to attach the metal reinforcement for the barrels. I suggest you not to go all the way with the hot glue gun, but uh, to attach it uh, spot by spot. So you can fix the first piece and then uh, you can uh, guide the metal reinforcement step by step. With uh, a scissor you can uh, then cut the excess. You can choose to add the two, three, four metal reinforcement per barrel. It's just a matter of taste. Now with the scrap foam piece that we left from the initial cut of the two cylinder of foam we create uh, a support for the big barrel cutting the shape with the exacto knife or uh, with the proxon for be more precise After we trace the wood grain, also here, we need to even the edges and so to have a, a flat surface uh, for uh, sustain the barrel. It's very easy with the proxim. Here I'm using a couple of pieces of matchsticks for the top. You can also insert just one toothpick and that's it. It's very easy.
For the little barrel, you need to follow the same procedure. This time, for the wood grain, I suggest you to use uh, a metal brush with a lighter touch because uh, this barrel has uh, very little planks. Here, I had the problem with the double layer cardboard. I fixed the problem just removing the second layer and it was okay, but I suggest you to use a single layer cardboard for your uh, metal reinforcement. Paint this stuff is uh, very, very easy. I first coated them with my Mod Podge black acrylic paint and water mixture. Check my tutorial number one for see the quantity of this mixture. Then uh, I use uh, a dark brown covering with a semi-wet brush all the pieces. Then I use this uh, warm gray. It's uh, actually a grey beige, um, grey, I don't know, but is a uh, warm grey, it's called warm grey. First with a semi-dry brush, then dry brushing everything. You see this little barrel with the screw inside, it's uh, not falling when you push it, it's uh, great for playing without uh, your pieces falling everywhere. When you have a variety of uh, barrels, it seems that uh, your storage room is uh, plenty of uh, supplies and it's very nice to see. Nice. Okay guys, this is it for today, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe this channel. Remember to support this channel through Patreon or uh, Paypal. And uh, yes, I think I see you all on the next episode. Till next time, happy crafting!